I'm Dr. Donald Gossett. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Uh, I have <clears throat> training in dentistry and specialty training in maxillofacial surgery. Uh, today we're going to speak about some fairly general aspects of uh, general dentistry and possibly uh, specialized dentistry and hopefully be able to educate you a little better on some of those topics. Today we're going to talk about uh, reasons for delayed tooth eruption in children. Uh, delayed tooth eruption occurs most commonly with either systemic diseases or some type of <clears throat> syndrome that involves a child. And the syndrome would be a genetic disease disorder where there's some problem in a linkage genetically and it causes a, a myriad of different uh, physical characteristics to manifest themselves. <clears throat> One common syndrome uh, to cause delayed eruption is Apert syndrome and I'll just read a few more. Uh, Clitocranial dysostosis, uh, Down syndrome, one that a lot of people are very common, uh, commonly know, uh, ectodermal dysplasia, Ellis van Creveld syndrome, incontinentia pigmenti acromians, and progeria. Uh, other reasons would be systemic diseases such as hypoparathyroidism and hypothyroidism. These are very common causes of either uh, delayed eruption or non-formation. Uh, many of these syndromes can give anodontia, which would give the sense that you have delayed eruption, but in essence you don't have any teeth forming. These are the common causes of delayed eruption. This is uh, Dr. Donald Gossett. I hope you enjoyed uh, the information to the point to where um, you may pursue dentistry or you may pursue uh, the benefits of some of the treatment alternatives.